This morning in our exclusive investigation into Americans and their cars, a high-tech device meant to protect your car that may not be doing the trick. More than a million cars are stolen every year. Those losses have fostered a whole industry in high-tech devices to protect your vehicle. But investigative correspondent Roberta Baskin is here to warn us, don't get too comfortable with these safeguards. Hello, Roberta. Hi, Mark. You know, it may seem very simple and obvious, but one of the best anti-theft devices around is just locking your car. Now, one of the new ways to do that is one of the, with one of these electronic keys or keyless remotes. At the press of a button, you can get in and out of your car quickly and safely. But guess what? You may not be as safe and secure as you think. We headed to a busy shopping mall in Southern California to test out what some car thieves already know. Now you know that chirping car sound? Car At the press of a button, a keyless oh remote God. sends out a radio signal. When the car's receiver hears the message, the doors lock, and sometimes a security alarm is set. But take almost any gadget like this, and there's another one to get around it, like the code grabber. I'm able to disarm the alarm and unlock the doors. You're talking like that? Yep. Security specialist Ed Meenan says it's a growing problem. He showed us how a code grabber can secretly be used to pick up the keyless remote signal, only this transmitter doesn't just read the frequency, it records it and plays it back. Typically what happens is a, a, a person will arm their alarm, which in fact does lock their doors, walk into a mall as we are here today, knowing for a couple hours that their, their car is protected. Not exactly. Now their car is defenseless to a code grabber. You saw what we just did? Yeah. What'd you think? I'm shocked. That means you could steal my stuff out of my trunk. Well, I think it's pretty dangerous. Okay, now watch this. And so easy to use. Armed with an electronic code grabber, we could steal motorist car keys about? right out of thin air. And none of them knew their car was vulnerable. You spend 30000 on a car. That scares me. Definitely. Jason Dozel told us he paid an additional $800 for a special alarm system that couldn't be bypassed. But we did. We just grabbed it. You just grabbed it. And now that we have grabbed it, we have what inside that we can grab? Well, like I said, you have the CD player, you have the cell phone, you have all my CDs, which are in a nice convenient case for you to just grab. Um, and ultimately your car. And my car. It. Mm -hmm. It's like being handed the keys to someone else's car. Over. Yeah, you did. It just unlocked your car. And over. Is there anything that's safe anymore is my next question. And over again. <laughs> I don't feel very secure anymore. I think I should get some kind of other protection now. And look at what we found right over the internet. This code grabber for a bargain price, about $100. No questions asked. Is there any real honest purpose for using this device? This particular device, there's no honest purpose other than to simply grab a code out of thin air and steal a vehicle and break into a car. What's going on? He just unlocked your car. We are in your car. No, I, I locked it again. After. Oh, no, it's unlocked. Voila. In this case, we hit the jackpot. $20,000 worth of designer sunglasses in the trunk. Yeah. So that's why I have my alarm, and that's why I use, use this always. How secure do you feel <laughs> now? Not very, definitely not. Yeah.